Now, um, a lot of the questions, and one question I know makes sense because anarchism is usually defined as either anti-statism or anti-hierarchies. Because both are a very large attribute for voluntary association. And I'm against a very hierarchical institution for any association. That's why I support polycentric law instead of monocentric law. And um, one of the misunderstandings I get is that um, people would say, well, capitalism has someone who owns, privately owns, um, what's the word? Not just factors of production, but who privately owns um, a means of production. I don't know why it took me so long to remember that word, but then I just remembered I have a migraine right now. Okay, so they own a, capitalism involves people who privately own a means of production. However, that doesn't mean that they're the center or the central point. There doesn't need to be a central point, even with private property. And that's why we do have um, those anarchist communities with private property, like modern times. Because the centralization, the central hierarchy, might not exist and doesn't exist. That's why in um, modern times they had those two um, positivist groups that were sort of polycentric and they weren't centralized to one ultimate um, positivist group or community that would associate with each other. And I don't know much about positivism. I'm not very big in sociology, but whatever. I'm only somewhat decent on it. But if you take this into account, um, capitalists, their main job after building up the factors of production has been done, what they need to do is constantly invest. They invest in more projects with the money that they earn. If they don't invest enough, they can get removed. And this was something that's said by Ryan Falk, who's not anti-hierarchical like me, but he understands that um, to some extent, some elements of capitalism where the capitalists isn't the center of the hierarchy. He could just be one of the components that are all interacting with each other in networks and not detached to a center like a tree um, with its branches. And I kind of sound retarded here, but it's the truth. Capitalism doesn't need to have this sort of um, capitalist as the center piece. If the capitalist is gone, that firm isn't going anywhere. It can still remain, sure, for new capitalists, but he doesn't have to be the center piece. I mean, if you think about it, since even Marx agreed that investment happens to be the best um, way to have economic growth. All you really need is a capitalist who owns the thing and um, doesn't really rise above to the center, but just invests. And that's what he does with a lot of his money. And that's what I think is the necessary component to anarchism for with capitalism furthermore um, you can add on to this a lot of extra stuff that you can argue um, hold on nice shirt it right that being said you can say well how do you know this can happen well think about it like this we lose a lot of CEOs. We have, and these places switch from a very unionist style to a very um, 
capitalist centered style. If you get rid of the center, it's not going to collapse. It's not going anywhere. It's a, these firms are very diverse in what they can handle. You don't need the centralization, and private property doesn't necessarily mean centralization. In the same way, public property doesn't mean centralization. I mean, it's all just one um, complicated system of hierarchies that you can get rid of. You can get rid of that centerpiece, like you can get rid of it in terms of government. And there's various differences from the public counterparts to the private counterparts. Whereas I see um, private stateless societies being more free market esque, and um, with polycentric law and uh, firms, with capitalism and the various other mar market ideologies. And uh, for the socialist part, um, instead of being run by a free market, it can be run in a very democratic esque manner. And um, with the syndicalism and socialism and other shit. So that's all I gotta say. I use um a lot and a lot of filler words, and I'm not really great with um speech today. This isn't my A game, but oh well.